excited back out here in the Texas Panhandle, in the gorgeous Palo Duro Canyon State Park. I'm out here searching for more of the hidden slot canyons. So I'm hoping to hit four or five new ones today, uh, way off the beaten path. Uh, I haven't even seen pictures or videos of most of these, uh, so they're unnamed. Uh, a lot of the experts that I've talked to uh, just haven't made it out to them yet. So uh, I'm sure they've been visited by somebody, but they really haven't been documented. So it'll be very interesting to see what I can come across. Uh, really just going off of Google Earth. Uh, so I don't know how impressive they are. It could be anything from a couple feet deep to 30 to 40 feet. So I'm sure out of several of them, there'll be at least one or two that are really neat. But uh, that's the fun of it. We'll see if I can come up with anything really cool out here. Man, it's supposed to get really cloudy, but I'm hoping that it stays like this because I'll be able to get some really good pictures of the slots. I mean, I'm not professional by any means, but it'd just be neat to see them with the actual sunlight hitting and see the true colors really bounce. Man, it is absolutely beautiful right now. I really hope this weather stays this way. A few clouds in the sky, but nothing crazy. Beautiful. I'll tell you what, it's been about a month since I hiked and my body is feeling it. I slept about three hours last night too, so that didn't help. But the weakened body is definitely not making this any easier. Uh, hopefully I'll wake up as I go. It's gonna be a long day. Almost to the top of this one. total so far and I've gone about six miles so so got a little ways to go but I'm actually heading back now kind of so I got a couple more slots I want to swing by definitely two I'm gonna try to get three just gonna have to watch the clock oh feeling it man feeling it Tell you what, it's feeling pretty good out here today. When you get out of the wind, it feels like it's in the 60s. The wind definitely cools it off, but down here where the wind is really not that strong, it's warm. It's not much longer until the snakes really start coming out. Matter of fact, I bet tomorrow there will be tons of snakes out sunning. It's supposed to be 78. That's why I wanted to come today instead of tomorrow. Way too many snakes will be out tomorrow, and I, I guarantee you there's, there, there are dens everywhere here. Prime snake territory. We've got about probably a month or two of actual hiking weather left in Texas and Oklahoma until the snakes start coming out. And that's when I switch out of hiking mode and into snake hunting mode. If you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know what I'm talking about. Almost time to start flipping and cruising again. Anyway, I'm gonna head on out of here. And I've got two slots left that I wanna get to. Still have plenty of time. So still hoping to get out here a little bit early. Beautiful day though, it's nice and quiet. All right, dropping down into the next draw to find another slot. 
once again I don't know what I'm walking into could be a really good slot and might be a foot deep and just appear to be a good slot from Google Earth but uh either way we're about to find out it's essentially on the way back to my car now so I've got two left that I want to see just got to take my time down this really steep terrain well it's really warming up out here the sun's out and if I tell you what for cloudy it's pretty clear but I'll take it man I'll be able to get some good pictures today because of the sun so I won't complain about that at all anyway I'm slowly making my way down get yourself out of one situation and then you have to figure out the other one I'm pretty sure it's just completely caved out underneath me I really hope this doesn't collapse I can go that way. Yep, I was right. It's caped out. Looks like I can go up and then drop down. It's steep, but it looks like the beginning of the slot, or at least the canyon, is right there. Alright, made it to the bottom of the next draw. I'm going to check out what I think is another slot canyon down here. Once again, I sure hope so, because that was a lot of work. But at least I'll know quickly. Looks like there's something starting right here. I hope this isn't it right here. Well, once again, somewhat of a slot canyon. Maybe older. Looks like it's filled with a lot of dirt and stuff. Man, I really hope this isn't it. I'll walk a little bit further, see if there's anything else down here. Once again, you just don't know what you're looking at when you look at Google Earth. You see a long line and what looks like a big crack in shadow. And this really fits the description of it. Unfortunately, I don't think this one's gonna pan out like I was hoping. Well, the water really got in here and shaped that out. It's on the underside. And unless it gets exciting down here towards the end, this one might be a wash. I mean, it's wide, it's not real deep. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely what I saw on Google Earth, but it's not as intricate as some of the others here. Go a little bit further with it and see. It's pretty good sized boulders here. Have used to be a lot more pronounced. Time has gone on, it's eroded away. Oh no, there's still hope. Oh yeah. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Definitely opening up a lot. It's a pretty good drop right there. Just gonna scar on the side here. See how far down this goes. I know the end has probably got a really dramatic drop. This one's pretty neat. I just want to make sure I can get back up. Next I can pull myself up right there. Get down there just to be safe. There's plenty of places to get up. Oh. I 
This is a pretty good size slot. Sort of opens up and drops away off. it. I know it drops off dramatically down that direction.